Hey guys, it's Gwen. I'm here to do a beautiful um, oracle reading with my fairies. My fairies from the forest are here to play today. Yes, the fairy forest. All on its own today. I separated my two decks. I was called to do that. Um, normally I have a very large deck, but we're going to talk about some big changes that are happening in your life. Um, darker aspects too that we're bringing to the light because that's where we find our power and our strength. Okay. Today is a beautiful day. It's, um, May 22nd. So 22, that's a master number. It's a master builder number. It's about using your talents and your creativity and your authenticity and really taking action. And, um, yeah, twos are about duality, but double the, double that, you know, and we're in Gemini season. Um, and you are this beautiful creator creating your reality with your thoughts, period. And it's going to start happening fast. You're going to start seeing, you know, your manifestations catch up. You know, you've already put, you've, you've thought it, you know, you've created it in your mind's eye. It's in the vortex. And now all of your blessings are coming. But it's been a period where it's been some darkness, you know. Um, I wasn't going to use this deck. See, I was just going to use this deck, but this one wanted to fall out of my other deck when I was separating them to let me know where it, where we've been, you know, in the recent past card six was about connecting with spirituality, um, connecting with our spiritual body, our emotional body, our mental body, and knowing, you know, and having them all working together, maturing and growing up and really getting to know yourself. That's what this card is. Okay. And we have so many super moons, so many planets in retrograde over the course of the next, uh, several months that, you know, it's, it's supporting a major transformation. Um, especially if you've gone within and done some shadow work, you know, I know it's been heartache. I will clarify the dark moon. It's been, uh, three of swords and the seven of swords. It's been painful. It's been, um, pain and love, heartache and love. It's been, uh, the seven of swords is dishonesty, lying, stealing. Okay. This like in this, this wizard, it's like, um, he's, is he stealing these books or who's stealing from who is what I get from this. Okay. Somebody, this, that's the end of this dark phase of people being dishonest and breaking your heart because you know how to set proper boundaries too. Okay, you've gone within and you've learned about yourself and that you're worthy of love, right? The love that you desire, right? So with this three of swords too, it's very much a, like, it's a lot of information. Look at all the papers. It's a lot of information. It's a lot you've been processing, okay, to heal. But you are this warrior. You are this healer. Card two. Duality again, Okay. This is Dora. Dura. Um, she's the healer, nourishment, and nurture. It's a time to take care of your body. This is actually her message in the book is very much, it is a call to do this now. Now. Like, she's very fierce. She's like, it is time to take care of you, self, meaning all of, all of your bodies that I speak of, your emotions, your physical body, what are you putting into it? Stop putting the shit into your body. The... the the fast food, the, you know, drink more water, um, connect with plants and nature, use natural medicines. That's what she says. Okay. It's time to like, there's a much going on on her head too. Like her crown there's, you got to notice that, right? Like it's time to, to ease these thought patterns. We're creating new thought patterns, right? We're releasing old programming, right? We know we create it. It's our point of awareness. What station are we tuned into? We are the magician. That's what clarifies this healer. This is also a call for you to seek out, to like create kind of like a mindfulness schedule. Like this is what I want to do for my body. I'm going to start moving. How about that? How about that? Just step, taking a step and moving. I'm going to do some stretching, some yoga in the morning. I'm going to do, I'm going to do my affirmations every morning. 
you know, like making a, uh, reaching out to a holistic healer, um, <clears throat> Reiki sessions, get a massage. You know, I'm talking about that sort of thing with this card because it's magical. If you are this magician, okay? magician coming out to clarify that, which is card one. It's a brand new beginning. You are going to take care of you you absolutely care about your home your temple okay so you uh, what, Claire, what what's next is we've got or dora and then we've got the sorcerer two and then three so progression right two card two and then card three and um this is about rituals power and will you are the magician remember but this is the time too like mercury's going into retrograde the rees Threes. So we rest and we rejuvenate and we reevaluate and we recreate and you know what that kind of thing. Okay, and I can see that's what you're doing. You're you're sending your wishes out. You're you know you're connecting with your ancient magic. You're realizing that oh I can actually I can manifest this. I've been through much. I am strong. Her whole crown too is surrounded. Looks like a deer bone there. It reminds me of that. And then all of this holly. Okay, which very much makes me think about, you know, uh, in the winter time, the holly berries. Like you've got holly out twice here, holly berries, holly vines. Okay, um, so you you are strong at this time. Once you've connect, once you've made your body and your emotional body and your mental body, you become even more of a powerful sorceress. Okay. It's about doing rituals during the moon, you know, sending your wishes out into the universe, checking and rechecking, journaling. You know, that's what this, the seven of uh, pentacles is clarifying that sorceress. Yeah. Reevaluating what you want to do. What's your happy? What life do I want to create? Do I want to travel? Do I want to stay here? Do What do I want to do for work? What, you know, all that comes with the sorceress clarifying it okay and then the yule singer comes out it's your rebirth i've been saying that for so long at least a month okay the yule singer ah oh, with the cardinal that sits on her head the cardinal ah oh, cardinals are beautiful cardinals this speaks to uh angels and spirits being with you um a masculine presence because that's the male cardinal showing up there in spirit with you also, the cardinal sings songs of joy, sings to his partner. They feed each other, right? This is about having great friends, soul kin around you, soul family, happiness, um, and celebrating life again, okay? And it is a time of celebration because what clarifies that is the six of wands and it is time for recognition for you. You see that you are a success. Uh-huh. Be proud of you today. Okay. Cause you've been through this. This always talks to me about like dark night of the soul. Okay. Golly, do we may, we grow leaps and bounds after that. We recognize so much about this life and our, our experience and, how we can manifest, we, how we can end the suffering life and create one of abundance and joy and bliss. <laughs> this is Sleeping Beauty. Yes, you've been asleep, but now you are awake. And you, are, you know you are worthy of bliss and celebration and love. This is, this is, happily ever after this is contentment satisfaction security a beautiful home kids a, a job you love i said what clarifies that that's card 42 by the way which is a six so we we start with this dark moon dark night card number six and we end up at the end of our little journey here in bliss card six <laughs> love that okay so that pink energy and the roses are speaking to me so much they're so beautiful and they smell so sweet, right? And they're so deeply rooted, you know, but they also have those thorns, right? You know, they're just so beautiful about seeing your own beauty. 
trusting in divine timing, being content with where you're at in your journey. And it only, you know, it, it just, you're grateful, grateful for life, for the experience of where you're at, where, how much you've grown. And it just brings so much into your life. I mean, I have six, six cards to <laughs> clarify your sixes that I just showed you. So yeah, there's so much abundance and beauty coming. I've got the, the 10 of cups. That's the happily ever after in the tarot right there. All right. Rainbow energy coming out from your angels because you are the high priestess. The high priestess is so very intuitive. Okay. She knows she trusts her intuition. She trusts her path. She trusts the timing. Also speaking the sign of Libra, the chariot coming in fast moving energy. That's a cancer sign too. Card seven. We've had several sevens out here today, too. This is your evolution. This is, you've got spiritual backing. You're mastering your craft because you are this beautiful master creator. You know it. The eight of pentacles. Time to go back to school. Time to really dive into, you know, what you love. Research, art, music. Okay. The, the age of Aquarius supports that. And that's what we're in. And the Page of Pentacles, be prepared for a brand new message of, I mean, Pentacles are, maybe it's a new job, money coming in, okay? Earth sign showing up for that one, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And the Six of Swords, it's like spirits helping you, like, don't you see, like, I feel like it's this escape, you know, like the escape from the darkness in this little bright little bubble of magic. Whatever trouble you feel like you're in right now, give it to the, give it to your angels, whatever, you know, whatever your worries are, be content because you're going to, you've got all this happiness and bliss and celebration in life coming. So start taking care of your temple. That was the first thing when we go through this and we release all our emotions and, and our body feels a bit weak after we, so we've got to fill our cup back up, Right. So do that. Concentrate on that. I don't know where you're at in your journey. Remember, this reading is general. I'm speaking to a lot of people, but there's so much goodness coming. I love you guys. If it resonated today, drop me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. You can always donate to our channel. We love that too. And I uh, appreciate you uh, following us. Love you so much.